This video will be about shifting. So let's talk about some ways to make your shifting sound better and feel a little more easy. So we have two sides of everything we do, obviously the, the left hand and the right hand, and both things are gonna be involved in shifting. So let's start with the left hand. And when you shift to third position, We're gonna just do this first. So we'll, um, we're gonna play your B, first finger B on the A string, and then third finger D. And then in order to move from first position to third, we're going to release the fingerboard and slide along just the string. So I'm gonna to try to get close enough that you can really see that I'm on the fingerboard here and then to shift, I'm letting the finger come off the board and just slide on the string. So I'm gonna show that on the G, that might be easier to see. So here I have my finger down on the fingerboard. I release the fingerboard, but I'm still touching the string. And then when I get to the new position, then I go back down to the fingerboard. So the string is guiding my direction, but I don't want there to be any extra friction preventing my sliding motion. So that is the first thing that I want you to know about shifting is that when we move, we release, and then when we arrive, so that we have as little friction as possible. I think of it as putting your um, brakes on your bicycle, that you have your brakes on when you're in position and then in order to move you have to release that brake and then you can um, put that back on. Um, one other thing I want you to know about shifting is the actual motion that's going to move our hand forward and that is this very basic motion that we start in our first lesson which uh, Mimi Zweig calls sliding up and down on the magic X and we want the finger height over the fingerboard to remain the same. So we don't want this to be sliding around up and down this direction. We want this to be going in a straight line like that. So that's another thing that I recommend to practice is just sliding because that's how you're going to move. All right. Let us talk about what your bow does to make your shift sound uh, quieter. Because as you heard when I did the slow motion shift, you can hear the shift. If you bow it strong, doesn't sound very nice. So when we shift, we're gonna lighten the bow. So without the shift, it sounds like this. So strong bow, light bow on the shift. So here's just the bow. And I'll show you with the hand motion, even though I'm not shifting, just so you can see where, uh, where that, when that happens. like there's no time between the notes but there is time and that's something else that you should know about shifting is that it does take time and you are not going to be it, it sounds obvious when you say it but uh, we lots of times have this feeling that we're gonna instantaneously want to go from here to here and it's impossible so we're gonna take the time that it goes it's a short distance in space if I were to move my hand without the violin and show you how far I'm moving, it's not very far. It's like, how long, how long is it gonna take me to move my hand that far? Not very much time. So think of it as a slow action because if you try to think of it as going fast, you're probably going to go too far. Uh, I think that's all I wanna say about shifting right now. So, um, 
Oh, I did want to say one last thing, which is that when you practice your shifts, practice both directions. So if you have a shift that's giving you trouble, that you're playing something and then it shifts up, practice that one shift going up and also practice it going down. All right, have a good practice.